in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 5. Gwynnie Andrews is three and a half years old and has never had a normal childhood, all because of a disease most people know very little about. She looked so horrible one night that I called the pediatrician and they told us to take her to Children's. While three and a half year old Gwynnie Andrews loves to play, she's seen her share of emergency rooms and hospitals. Her parents always thought something was wrong. Born with one eye partially closed, over time she suffered from severe vomiting, dehydration, flu-like symptoms. She was tired all the time. The doctors were telling us that she was getting better and she'll be fine. We'd bring her home and she wasn't getting better. At Children's Hospital Los Angeles, clinical geneticist Richard Bulls diagnosed Gwynny with mitochondrial disease when the cells in some parts of the body don't produce energy. She suffers from hypoglycemia right now, but those with this disease can develop other problems. Epilepsy, developmental delay, autism, diabetes, hearing loss, visual loss, and many other symptoms. Dr. Bull says when it comes to mitochondrial disease, whether it's children or adults, he believes 90% of cases are misdiagnosed. He hopes a new test will change that. So the test is about 30-fold more sensitive than what's been previously available. Using blood or saliva, Medomic's new test can read the entire genetic code of mitochondrial disease, many times inherited from the mother. This test will allow many more patients to be diagnosed quicker and easier with mitochondrial disease that was not previously possible. The Andrews went to an expert, but no many others won't have that advantage. They believe knowledge, awareness, and this new test will make a difference. It's going to save children's lives. We just don't want other parents to go through what we went through to get to where we are now. For more information on mitochondrial disease and this test, go to CBS2.com and click on the pulse. Gwynnie's parents say they don't know what the future holds, but they're glad they know what's wrong with their daughter and she's finally getting the treatment she needs, which is so important for children or adults with this. Mm -hmm. All right, Lisa, thank you very much.